I was 14 years old when I was sexually assaulted. My abuser was almost 50 years old. He was my tumbling and cheerleading coach. In middle school, this cheer gym opened down the road for me. I started getting lessons. That's where I met my coach, Dave. The day that he assaulted me wasn't the first time that he had touched me, but it was the time where he went farther. So before it had just been, you know, touching me while I was stretching, like pushing me down farther, brushing my butt and stuff when he was catching me. Everybody else had left. He approached me, um, hugged me, and then started putting his hands under my clothes touching me really inappropriately, uh, assaulting me. I tried to kind of get away, but it was just him and I in the gym, so I knew there was really no point running. I got really lucky in that my dad pulled up as his hands were in my clothes. Um, so he pulled everything out and kind of went to the other side of the gym and acted like nothing had happened. I called my best friend after I got home and told her what happened and she told me that I had to tell my dad or else she would. I told him what happened. Um, he didn't say a single word. He walked out of my room and when he walked back in, there were police officers with him. I ended up doing a forensic interview, which was traumatizing all in itself. They make you like sit there and they hand you a doll and tell you like, use the dolls to show me where he touched you. He was arrested and then they started getting ready for um, the preliminary hearing. I remember going into the district attorney's office and it was a guy and he looked at me and asked me if I was making it all for attention. And that was horrible. I didn't really understand what had happened to me. I knew that what he did was wrong and like logically I understood that, but emotionally it was so hard because at the time I wasn't close with either of my parents. So my coach was really the person that I turned to for everything. He was basically my best friend. So when all this happened, I was almost heartbroken because the person that I relied on most hurt me and then disappeared. I felt really alone. I remember going back to school after he was arrested and just staring at the floor when I walked because I felt so ashamed. We didn't end up going to trial. He plea bargain and pled guilty. My abuser was sentenced to 30 months. He actually only ended up serving about 24 months because he was on good behavior and I was terrified that I was going to run into him somewhere and I blamed myself really for him going to jail. I would say I didn't actually really process what happened to me until probably three years ago when all this kind of came back up and um, I connected with another survivor um, that was actually abused by the same person. Well, the thing about child sexual abuse is that it, it doesn't just hurt you when you're young. It's something that even talking about it now, it hurts me mentally and physically. In fact, um, if I don't take really good care of myself and I talk about it a lot, I get migraines. I've done a lot of therapy to learn how to cope with this and with the trauma and the ongoing side effects of it. When I was accused of not telling the truth. That's when I decided I wanted to be a lawyer to make a difference and give people, you know, help and justice and support in ways that I never got when I went through that system. The public's perception of child sexual abuse has absolutely changed since my case happened. No one talked about it at all. And I think we all need to keep talking about it so that people know just how extensive this problem is and how much we do need to make some change. I am Satan, are you?